hi everyone so i'm back to share another journal with you and this journal is um a little bit eclectic um i'm gonna call it vintage ephemera and tag journal because that's what it is it's just full of uh vintage ephemera which are printables because i don't really have a lot of um original stuff and the things that i do have and keeping <laughs> um so yeah it's just filled with filled with digitals i'll mention it as i go through i've used quite a lot of uh different people's um digitals and because of so many i will mention it as i go through so the journal itself measures where's my notes eight and a quarter by five it has one signature there's 68 pages and it is rather chunky it will be listed in my shop if you're interested so the cover which i've just put the topper on now um is some elements from artie Maisie's kit cold vintage days i've used some of that throughout the journal as well and i've backed it onto um doubled over paper um stitched all around i've used one of the tim tim holtz um flower dies which is <clears throat> this one because i think that's the number on there six six four one six four so i'm not quite sure i know they've all got different names wildflower stems uh two that's what it is so that's what i used on there and i just uh it was white and i just inked it up to make it look like grungy this is a kind of grungy like vintagey style anyway so i've used um craft card for the cover um, my usual um three other layers of cardstock one of them being coffee dyed and it's all been stitched um eyelets black organza ribbon because i just thought that would suit this quite well and it does weigh quite a bit this really does um so you can see there's a lot going on in there so let's do the flip through okay right these papers i really can't remember who they're from but i think it's called splendor something or other but i can't remember where i got it i really can't so i apologize about that um and they're just kind of like background papers so i used that here again the paper that i used for the corner tucks was from that same collection and i just really can't remember who it's from sorry <laughs> um i've done little clusters of um tickets and images which are from a mixture of arty maze and some of the things are from the tag fabrication kit i think my ring lights flat flickering um from the tag fabrication kits between Artie Mays and Tracy Fox. A little butterfly there with some bling. Inside here, we've got some ephemera, which is from Artie Mays. She, um, I think this is some of her original stuff that she scanned in and got as a kit. Um, this is from Tracy Fox, the layered tags, the field notes. Um, this is Artie Mays as well. I'm going to have to switch the USB on that light because sorry it's flickering and it does that in one of my usbs i don't know why there we go okay right this is from one of my tags and pockets kits um so i've popped that in there and this is from Artie Mays as well. Excuse my burn on my hand. I keep burning myself on my air fryer because it's a, it's a tower one. So it's actually got three um, shelving units inside it. It's not like a like a bucket type one. And I'm forever burning myself. I've got scar marks all over my hands. <laughs> okay. Uh, this tag, I made this on um, camera the other week. This is from, again, one of my, it's the jumbo tag pack that I have in my shop. Um, and I've used some Artie Mays elements on there as well from the Oddments kits and some of the freebies. This is some music paper. Um, this is just one of my tags. I don't know if that's in one of the kits or that was something that I was messing around with, but it was a moustache, so I used it. We've got coffee dyed papers. We've got tabs, which has uh, been made with uh, craft cardstock. Uh, this is another one of them pages from that kit that I can't remember who I got it from. Um, I've made a big deep pocket, just done a, a, a layering here with, these are the images that you get with Tracy Fox's um, layered tags, field notes, and the ticket is from Artie Mays. This is from Artie Mays's Oddment kit, and that goes in there. This is from Artie Mays Construction journal cards. So I've just, uh, obviously, as you can see, I've done that 
where it's opened one side and then I've just tucked in the little miniature one to go there. The old design shop. Um, here we have a envelope for some reason there. Umbrella stuck popped into my head. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> a bit random. Just some coffee dyed paper as I normally do in the envelopes that you can journal on and you can stuff other things in there. This actually comes from the vintage day kit. So that goes on there. Uh, more journaling space. Here I've just made a pocket. Again, that paper in the background was from this collection. Um, and I don't know who it's from. So this here is um, from Artie Maisie's Vintage Days. Then inside here we have a Tracy Fox uh, Field Notes tag. And that's already layered up. Some of the tags I did layer, but this one is like already like that on the printable. And then this image you get, and that is layered on there. Then we have this, and this is from the Vintage Days from Artie Maze. This is mine from one of my tag kits. Tags and pockets, I think. This is from Tsunami Rose for a postcard kit. That's a great big kit as well. Loads and loads. Ticket here is from Artie Maze, so that's just tucked in there. Another one of them pages, so I don't know who it's from. Uh, here we've just got another little corner tuck. So there's three layers here from um, the Tag Fabrication and Artie Maisie's Oddment kit. And inside there we've got a ticket, which is the larger ticket from that, I believe. This is Artie Maze from one of our ephemera kits. I think it's ephemera free, if you think. This is one of my tags. This is Artie Maze, and this is Tracy Fox. That's another little tag from the um, Vintage Days. This is Tracy Fox. Some music paper. Um, we've got another layered tag here. This is from Tag Fabrication, but I did pop um, one of Tracy's uh, little elements on there from the Field Notes. Um, layered tags and then that's just paper clipped on there and then this opens out somehow da -da, like that and that and that's from Artie Maisie's ephemera kit I've used some of the tickets here from vintage days and then inside there it's a little tuck got one of my tags and some ephemera from Artie Maze. so that just folds over like that and you can actually paper clip that completely shut so that's how that works <clears throat> some more coffee dyed paper another tab on here some lined paper there's always plenty of room to journal in the journals that I make um, another layered tag here from tag fabrication and this little image here is uh, from Tracy Fox and that does exactly the same as the other one we've got a big um, it's a receipt I think um, from Artie Mays from the ephemera kit and that just tucks in there and then that opens out and it's got some stenciling on there and we'll paper clip that onto there little fold over um, from that paper and then inside there we've got ephemera here Artie Mays I had loads of that I printed out loads last week um, and this is Artie Mays as well this is Artie Mays from the Oddman kit. And. Oh. Oh, bless me. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> I needed to sneeze, obviously. Um, a little ticket from the ticket kit from Artie Mays. Another one of these deep side tucks. Just done some layering. Got a butterfly on there. And this is from the construction cards and again I just that's Artie Mays and this the image is from Tracy Fox I love them little um like the book corners on there I think that's really nifty so you can write on that and write on that and it's obviously your pocket and it goes in there here we have uh one of my tags and like I said I honestly don't know if that is in one of the kits or that was just some of the things I was messing around with from Photoshop I can't remember now um and this is from the Oddment kit from Artie Mates. 
I have actually been playing around with some other stuff, but um, I haven't quite finished them yet, just when I can be bothered, really. <laughs> uh, little tag there from Vintage Days and an envelope there, and that is from Vintage Days. I love that image of that little boy. I think it's a little boy. Um, and just some doubled over paper in there for you to journal. And like I said, you can stuff your envelopes full of whatever you like. I think I might actually do a, um, a vintage day journal. I haven't used that whole kit in a while. So here, again, I've just used the tickets. There's a little boy again. That was just, I didn't realise I'd done that. Um, but yeah, the tickets on there, on that little fold. This is from Tsunami Rose. This is from Artie Mays. This is Artie Mays, the Oddment kit. And this is Artie Mays from my ticket kit. So you've got lots of ephemeral tickets there. Here we've got another little cluster there. And these are all from the tag fabrication, I believe. And the little butterfly. Another one of Tracy's uh, layered field knots tags. And this is from Artie Mays from her ephemera kit. This is Artie Mays from her ephemera kit as well. And that is one of my tags and that is from the Vintage Days. And we'll just pop that there. Another deep pocket. These are from this envelope. Envelope. This um, postcard is from the um, Vintage Days. And I've just backed it onto some other paper from that kit that was just there. Another tag. Layered tag with one of Tracy's images on there. That's tag fabrication. And this is a postcard from uh, Tsunami Rose. That's one of my tags. Uh, two tickets there from Artie Mace. And a tag from Vintage Days. Some lined paper, some coffee dyed paper. Love how the coffee dye comes out. I've, I've done it quite strong this time. Um, in this little tuck, which is the other side of that. You have this from Artie Mays and that is from Artie Mays. And then here we have another little layered thing here, a little cluster, um, all from either the tag fabrication or Artie Mays, the tickets from Artie Mays and a butterfly and uh, Tracy Fox layered field knots tag, uh, postcard from Tsunami Rose, another one of my tags and uh, Artie Mays and this is from Artie Mays so there we go there we have it I'm also going to mention I've noticed a lot of people are having problems printing at the moment and it's actually happened to me as well but what I did because it was only happening with JPEGs I then um, put all the images that I wanted to to use uh, and I converted them into a PDF and they work absolutely fine don't know why but it does so if you can if you've got that program if you've got PDF uh, is it adult flash player whatever the hell it's called I can't remember um, I just like highlighted all the um, images that I wanted to print off that I was having problems printing with uh, combined them into just one PDF file and they printed absolutely fine. I was getting only half a page. I've seen some people only getting like that side of the page printed, big gap, and then that side of the page printed and it's happening with people all over the world. It's a Windows issue from a Windows 10 update or whatever. Um, so yeah, so if you if you can convert your images into a PDF that should work fine because it's worked fine for me um and then you've still got your jpegs so don't you know don't you still got you know still keep a, a backup of them and even like when you if you don't want to you can still convert from a pdf to a jpeg as well so that can be done too um but i'm not that technically minded but i just know that that worked for me um absolutely fine something i forgot to do was put on some bling on here so i'm going to do that as i'm chatting away here channel I, I know what I'm talking about but yeah I just thought I'd mention that just in case anybody else is having them issues um such a shame I hope they get it fixed soon so everybody's okay with their printers because it's happening with 
it doesn't matter what type of printer you've got it's just happening because it's it's not the printers it's the windows obviously if you're running off of windows windows 10 as i think it is so yeah um i've mentioned everyone uh links will be below uh this will be listed in my shop if you have any questions just ask and thank you for watching bye